First of eight on a good track at Epo. Gates open, off they go. And one that missed the start or never unconditional has missed the start by nearly six or seven lengths. It's out the back early and away fast is Scotty to be one of the leaders with Anthea. Love goes around is towards the outside rail. Heart feeling is close and handy as well, being followed by Sing 50, D Great Ares, and then came Zolved. Uh, behind those there and uh, now drifting back love goes around Tongsi Arching's a fair way back with Balkan Challenger after that slow beginning never unconditional is a clear, clear last I should say with 500 to go and heart feeling and uh, moving up on the outside with it there Scotty and Thayer is running on so is on the outside there uh, looks to be uh, Dark Express is quite handy and they were followed by Sing 50, D Great RS and then Balkan Challenger further back is solved but now Scotty kicks away over the final stages and broke clear from Dark Express and Thayer and then came Balkan Challenger it's clear though Scotty and he's home in the first he's racing clear and he builds up a pretty handy break getting close to home and wins by nearly three and a half lengths so Scotty defeats Anthea uh, in third placing was Balkan Challenger, followed by Dark Express, and then came uh, Zolved, who was behind those with Eastwood. Uh, then Love goes around. D Great R is Sing 50, never unconditional. Well, missed the start and missed his chance as well. And Heart Feeling knocked up and ran last. So Scotty wins the first. Number two, his first win since April of last year. 22 for the win, five the place. Breaking clear over the final stages to build up a pretty handy break there. Winning by, I'd say, three and a half lengths at the finish there, Scotty, with SU Lim in the saddle. Drew Barrier two, and went straight to the outside, defeats Anthea. Balkan Challenger was about a neck away third, and Dark Express, who was on the speed throughout, had every possible chance and was back in fourth position with Love Goes Around in fifth. So Scotty will pay 22 and 5, winning the first of the day. A much better performance, Anthea, posting her uh, first placing here in Malaysia. Anthea, she was the runner-up with uh, the Charles Leck trained runner there, Anthea, running second with Jay D'Souza, around 20 for the place, and we stand by for third. Should go the way of Balkan Challenger number 10, ridden by... I Ferdriel and fourth is one Dark Express. So no sign of these numbers. They'll be with us eventually after the first of the day. Dark Express was the equal second pick in the market. Now takes the record to 38 starts, three wins and uh, placed on 12 occasions. Here's the replay. First of eight on a good track at Epo. Gates open, off they go. And one that missed the start or never unconditional has missed the start by nearly six or seven lengths. It's out the back early and away fast is Scotty to be one of the leaders with Anthea. Love goes around is towards the outside rail. Heart feeling is close and handy as well, being followed by Sing 50, D Great Ares, and then came Zolved. Uh, behind those there and uh, now drifting back, Love goes around. Tongsi Arching's a fair way back with Balkan Challenger. After that slow beginning, never unconditional, is a clear, clear last, I should say, with 500 to go. And heart feeling, and uh, moving up on the outside with it there, Scotty and Thayer is running on, so is on the outside there. Uh, looks to be uh, Dark Express, who's quite handy, and they were followed by Sing 50, D Great RS, and then Balkan Challenger. Further back is solved, but now Scotty kicks away over the final stages and broke clear from Dark Express and Thayer, and then came Balkan Challenger. It's clear though, Scotty, and he's home in the first. He's racing clear, and he builds up a pretty handy break getting close to home and wins by nearly three and a half lengths. So Scotty defeats Anthea uh, in third placing was Balkan Challenger, followed by Dark Express, and then came uh, Zolved, who was behind those with Eastwood. Uh, then Love goes around. D Great R is Sing 50, never unconditional. Well, missed the start and missed his chance as well. And Heart Feeling knocked up and ran last. Numbers here after the first are 2, 4, 10, 1. Scotty the winner, a, an eight-year-old Bay Gilding by Lonroe. Out of Clairvoyant is trained by S.Y. Lim for Casey Liao, ridden by S.U. Lim. 
and uh, makes it three wins from 38 starts overall. Defeats number four, which is Anthea, Jay D'Souza for Charles Leck. And third over, number 10, which is a Balkan challenger, I Ferdriel, riding for Malcolm Thwaites. And fourth is the one, Dark Express. Dark Express, ridden by AK Lim for Tia Sogan. Uh, still waiting for these times and margins. They take a while here. Uh, two, four, ten, and one, the numbers. But uh, as you can see, he was placed on the speed throughout there by... Uh, SU Lim, the rider, coming from barrier two and went straight to the outside and the uh, the better going, the quicker going down the home straight and uh, dashed away over the last 200 metres and he was the one you'd want to be on a fair way from home. And Thea, well, that was her best run in the country in seven outings, in seven local starts and she boxed on OK. Uh, likewise, Balkan Challenger and Dark Express who raced on the speed throughout. Two four ten one official after race one. Now the margins are four and a quarter by a neck by three quarters. And the race time will be coming through eventually. Four and a quarter by a neck by three quarters in 102.8. 102.8, which is about 2.1 seconds outside the record. All clear is up after race one. The winner there was number two, Scotty. Pays 22 and five. And Thea paid 20. Balkan Challenger, 12. Quinella, 166. The QPs for two and four paid 35. Two and 10, 17. Four and 10 paid 41. The trio, 372. Trifecta, 8,787. There were no winners on the first four. All clear is up after race one. <laughs> 